What's up guys, this is Foden here with another tutorial which within which is within After Effects. Now this will be uh, the time remapping um, side of things, which is basically syncing. Um, you can use it for syncing, that's exactly that's what I use it for. Um, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on this. So so if I just get a clip, um, I won't bother adding in any music. And my dogs are downstairs barking and they're not stopping. I'm sorry about that. They just bark at anything and I cannot stop it. Because um, I'll just shut them up and then they'll just start again. So, you know. Um, so if I just get some gun sounds. and uh, So it'll be the L118 because that's what I used. Um, that's the gun I used in this clip. So if I just go to, say, four seconds. And I want it, say, this quick. All sort of the same sort of pattern but just a fast speed so if I just hit that off and then just play this this is the speed of the shots okay what we need to do is I'm going to edit that because obviously you've got the the sound but then you've got like a okay um, just for tutorial purposes we're not going to use this gun because I'm not going to spend that much time Cutting it out, but I'm just gonna use a barra bollocks to it. I, you know, I know it's not a barra, so I, like you know, the gun's not a barra. Oh well, it's only tutorial. So any of you that are thinking about complaining, don't because there's no point. Anyway, so we'll just do that again. Just set that and that. So we'll go. Nope, too too long. Actually, what we'll do is, we'll do two fast ones, a gap, and then two fast ones again. So, sorry that the dogs are still barking, you know. That's what's so annoying about them, but they just will not shut up. They're, they're barking at nothing, but, you know. Okay, so if I get line the first shot up, which starts here, so I just... There we go. We don't need this no more. Actually, no, we can't. We will do it, actually. We will use it. Then you go layer time remap in. And just hit keyframe down. Um, so that's placed a keyframe at the first kind of, um, what do you call it, point. The next thing what we want to do is we want to come to the next hit marker. Which is going to be here. So hit a keyframe down. What you do want to do is just hold shift and select the end keyframe and you want to bring it back bring this one back to where the second shot is. So we place the keyframe where the hit marker is but we're just dragging that forward so it's sort of speed it's speeding up in between this point and this point because I have sort of brung them close together so it will be like this. <laughs> Okay, for the clip, that is just wrong. Um, you'll probably miss a beat or something, but for tutorial purposes, <laughs> this is only for tutorial. Okay, so what we might want to do, you might, um, you could easily just get another keyframe, like another keyframe on each hit marker and just keep doing it. But if you've got like a constant beat, then that's sort of makes it a lot easier. I don't know why I decided to do two quick ones. Um, actually, you know, I'm just going to spread that out. And the good thing about time remapping is it's a lot easier to edit. So now I've done this and spread out the, the, the shots a bit more. I'll just hit this last keyframe. Which is here. All we need to do is just drag these back into position and we'll select these end two and that will keep the speed from the last shot to the end the same unless we want to change that but we'll do that after so we'll just drag them there and that is basically synced to the gunshots now um, it's pretty much that easy and you can edit it anytime so if the one shot is slightly out move it across a little bit and just fix it to where you want it to so I'm just going to take off the sound here and we're going to play it and see what it looks like. 
So that's sort of like fast motion type things. Uh, slow motion, you're more likely to use Twixter or something. Um, so yeah, that's what timing wrapping is sort of used for, guys. It's just that you're picking bits of the so like uh, it's basically just taking segments of the clip and speeding it up without Twixer. So if I just take that off and I want to speed up, just 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 want to speed up the the aiming. So from here, you know, I want that to be like a little bit quicker. So if we'll, you just go to the point where it starts to zoom in, time enable time remapping. You'll hit a keyframe down, and then you'll go forward to the bit where you want it to stop. So we want it to probably stop here. And then what we'll do is we'll go and select the end one. So we'll keep this the same. Maybe we just bring it in half. So we just like, I don't know, bring it to about here. It doubles the speed of the, the shot. Well, not the shot, the aim. Doesn't really look like much. But that has actually, you know, doubled the speed by pretty much halfway. Uh, you know, by twice as much. So, yeah, that's time remapping for you guys. Like... I can't really put it into any other words. It's quite confusing actually for me to talk about this. That's why I never used to do tutorials because this I always used to run into problems like these. I couldn't explain it well, but I thought I'd try it anyway. You know, some people may understand, some people may not, but it's just pretty much just practice, just playing with it and that. So yeah, guys, um, there's going to be another tutorial out, which is how to get 3ds Max models into Cinema 4D. That'll be coming out soon as well. So please look out for that. Um, please like and comment. I know. All my subs are, are going and active. Thank you very much. You know, just I don't know what else. You know, I'm trying to get videos out for you guys in the bit. You know, the in the busy life that I kind of have with work and college and all that. I'm still trying to do it. I'm getting subs each day, but the views aren't going up. That's confusing. But yeah, please share this out. Reach out to a few more people. Please stay active there are more montage and that coming out um like i said if you want to see something message me and i'll do it because if you're going to keep quiet and you're like oh how'd you do this and not even bother asking me you, you know and just, you're just hoping to wait that somebody's going to bring a tutorial out for it which you never know it may not happen but yeah guys please like and comment subscribe if you haven't um and i'll see you in the next video peace